Hello, kids. In this lesson, we are learning to sort objects. Ready? Let's go. Look, we have a bunch of books and pencils. Now, we sort this bunch into two groups. A book group and a pencil group. This is a pencil. Let's put it into the pencil group. This is a book. Let's put it into the book group. A pencil. Put it into the pencil group. A pencil again. Put it into the pencil group again. A book. Put it into the book group. A pencil. Put it into the pencil group. A book. Put it into the book group. A pencil. Put it into the pencil group. A pencil again. Put it into the pencil group again. A book. Put it into the book group. A book. Put it into the book group again. A pencil. Put it into the pencil group. It's done. Now, Let's count to find how many books are in the book group. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five books. Now, let's count to find how many pencils are in the pencil group. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven pencils. Now let's practice. You can download and print the worksheets below to practice sorting objects. Get some scissors. You will need them for the task. Have you got the worksheets and scissors? Now, with this worksheet, follow the dotted lines to cut out the items of clothing. Now, with this worksheet, sort these clothes into three groups. A t-shirt group, a jeans group, and a cap group. Take your time to do it. Can you do it? Just put t-shirts into the t-shirt group jeans into the jeans group and caps into the cap group. Easy peasy, right? Now, can you count to find how many objects are in each group? Once you've found it, write it on the line. Have you found it? It's easy, right? There are seven t-shirts. There are five pairs of jeans. There are eight caps. Great! You were finished. Bye for now and see you soon in the next lesson.